As we've said before, electricity can be kind of expensive, and in a lot of cases, it may not even be available. And I'm thinking, for example, of a, a situation where you've had a widespread storm that's caused power outages in your area, or uh, perhaps you're working at a remote job site where there's no power available. In that case, when you need to have electricity, a portable generator is the way to go. Now, at ToolBarn.com, we've got a wide variety of uh, brands and models and so forth. Uh, probably Generac has the biggest selection we've got, and they've got models ranging from 800 watts all the way up to 17,500 watts. The 17.5 is a big one. That's a big, big, big one. The 800, obviously, for smaller jobs. This is an 1,800 watt model. And it's good for smaller jobs and uh, for things oh, like maybe tailgating at the football game on weekends. And should you decide to do that, by the way, uh, and you would like us to see firsthand how this works, uh, invite us along to the tailgate. Uh, I like hot dogs and, and hamburgers, medium, if that's okay. Now, of course, on the bigger models, you can get more done with those. Uh, we've got a 5,500 watt model, for example, and that's good for medium-sized jobs, whether it may be, for example, our air compressors or for plugging in some things from your home, uh, lights, a refrigerator, a heater, different types of things. Now, one thing that's really important is sizing these things correctly. Do the math and make sure that you don't want to plug more things into a generator than the generator can handle because that can only lead to problems. So uh, it's a great idea. Know what you're buying. Check it out. Know what you want to plug into it. And I'll also point out one other quick thing. In power outages, if you've got people in your home with uh, medical equipment that runs on electricity, portable generators are almost a must. So make sure you take that into consideration. We've got a great line of portable generators at toolbarn.com, so check them out.